let's say on some problem you have a triangle and this triangle is given by this right here you have some angle theta okay and they give you in the problem the sides of the triangle this is three this is four and this is five so this measurement is three four five and um, just for kicks I'm going to kind of draw a dotted line that's going to be an x-axis or a y-axis rather and an x-axis. So this triangle really is just sitting on the xy grid right here. Okay? And so I have an angle theta and the problem asks you tell me the sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent. Tell me all of those things related to this problem. Okay? Now if you remember back from just a minute ago the sine okay, of an, of an angle, which is here. Notice in this triangle, the way I've drawn it, this is the right triangle. This is the 90 degree angle. This is the hypotenuse. This is the opposite side of this angle. This is the adjacent side. It's exactly the same as I've drawn it just a minute ago. The sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 4. Opposite of this angle, hypotenuse is 5. Okay. So that's the sine of that angle, 4 fifths. Notice this number is less than 1. You will find that the sine, cosine, tangent, all these things, well at least the sine and the cosine, they will go between plus or minus 1. They'll never get outside of plus or minus 1, so they'll always be a decimal of some kind. Okay. Continue to reinforce this. The cosine of theta was defined as the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent to this angle is 3, if you remember. Hypotenuse is 5, so the answer to that is 3 fifths. Okay? The tangent of theta was equal to um, opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. Opposite was 4. Adjacent was 3. So you get four-thirds, okay? This over this. Now one thing I want to point out to you as we go over tangent, it is defined as the opposite over the adjacent, this number over this number. But notice that that's the same thing as saying sine theta over cosine theta. The reason is, if you take sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, divided by cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, the denominators, the five and the five, are going to cancel. It's like having four-fifths over three-fifths and you know when you divide fractions all you do is you take the top one and you multiply you kind of take the bottom flip it over and multiply by five-thirds so these cancel and you're going to end up with four-thirds so it's defined as opposite over adjacent but what I'm saying is you can equivalently just say sine over cosine because these hypotenuses they're going to cancel and that's what you're going to be left with that's a useful thing you know, it's not the point of this particular problem, but it's, the, it's a useful thing to know. So, how do we go on from here to find secant, cosecant, cotangent, and all that? Well, I'm going to do exactly what I told you would be a good idea to do. Over here, I'm going to write sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, cosecant. Just write them in order. And draw my little rainbow like this. All right. So... In order to find cotangent, which is over here, cotangent of theta is 1 over tangent. So I just looked down, what did I find for tangent? I found 4 thirds. 1 over 4 thirds is just 3 fourths. You just flip it over when you have 1 over that, because you can take the bottom, flip it over, multiply by the top, you get 3 fourths. For secant, secant is 1 over cosine. Okay, cosine I found already to be three fifths, so this is five thirds. And the reason it is is because it's one over cosine. Cosine is this one over this. You flip it over is five thirds, and then cosecant. You follow this here is one over sine. What did I find for sine? I found four fifths, so one over four fifths is just five fourths, like that. So, you see, given the sides of this triangle and knowing the definitions, I calculated sine of this angle theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, cotangent theta, secant theta, cosecant theta. 
Now, we haven't gone into why this is useful, why do we care, we haven't gone into any of that stuff. That stuff comes a little bit later. You're going to have to work with me and you're going to have to um, trust me that this is very important information for you to do well in trig and pre-cal. So let's move on and we'll do some more problems to kind of um, drill this into your head.